do is find the monthly payment. $1,000, three months. What's a monthly payment? Well, that involves the P value, principal, the R value, the rate, and the N. So that we can use the monthly payment formula on the upper left. I'll leave that up there for tomorrow's quiz again. I'll leave it up there. All right. Principal, help. How much has been borrowed? Gracias. That's easy. Right, Anaya? The rate is APR, annual percentage rate, APR, divided by 12. So in this case, it's going to be 10% as a decimal. That's 0 0.10 divided by 12. I'll do that for us. Here we go. So 10% divided by 12, 0 0.10. I'm going to run the nearest third decimal. It's going to be 0 0.008. Because next to the 8 and not 5 are bigger, so I just do the 8. 0 0.008. Cool. 0 0.008. All right. Okay, we got our P, we got our R, we just need our N. How many months is it going to take to pay it off? Gracias. We're done. Let me type this in the calculator and we'll get our monthly payment. Let's do it. I'll do it for us as normal. We got the scientific calculator on Desmos. There we go. P times R, that's 1,000, times 0 0.008, times 1 plus 0 0.008, that's 1 plus R to the third power, get it out of exponent mode by clicking to the side if it lets you. There we go. Divided by now, the denominator is the same thing, 1 plus r to the third power, 1 plus 0 0.08 to the third, minus 1. There's a monthly payment. Let's look at the pennies, please. 68 cents. 338.68 is my monthly payment. So let's do that. Here we go. Do that with me. 338.68. Second month, 338.68. Third month, leave blank because remember the last one to pay off the loan? It's, it's slightly off a little bit. We'll pay off the interest plus the last balance. So keep the third, the third one empty. Again, if you weren't here, you'll see what I mean right now. You have some catching up to do. Again, on tomorrow's quiz, I'll throw a table at you. I'll fill in the monthly payment for you and ask you to fill in the rest. Part of tomorrow's quiz is like that. So right now is the time to ask questions, not tomorrow when you're on the quiz. Ask questions now, not tomorrow. Let's do this. All right. So whoever is borrowing this $1,000 is going to pay three thirty-eight sixty-eight for the first month. How much of that? Go grab your, nice, go grab your, uh, the stamp sheet. Say again? Okay, do you have your stamp sheet though? Nice. So you're going to go to Ms. Gillery right now? Yeah. Go ahead, just take it, just take it, just go. Just take the pass though. Quick though. Um, some of it's going to go to the bank. Some of that first payment is going to go to the bank and some of it's going to go towards the amount borrowed. To figure out how much goes to the bank, that's the interest. That's P times R times one month out of 12, because every month you're going to pay a little bit off. So we did this plenty of times yesterday and the day before. So here we go. I'm going to go a little quicker now. The principal is 1000 bucks. The rate is always going to be the APR, which was 10%. Okay. times 1 12th. But multiplying by 1 12th is the same as dividing by 12. So you'll see when I put, punch it in the calculator how it works out. It's rock and roll. Questions so far? Again, I don't want any questions on tomorrow's quiz. Now is the time to ask questions. And during the guided practice when you do your own, you need to start asking me questions now. A grand, that's a principal, that's what's borrowed, 
Time. So I'm just following the formula. Gracias. Divide that puppy by 12. And round to the pennies. So $8.33. So the bank will keep 8.33. Of that first payment, the bank keeps 8.33. So whatever's left over goes towards what was borrowed. So let's see, 338 minus 833. Let's see. 338, 68 minus 833. So this amount goes towards the principal, 330, 35. Right, because again, this is the payment, and we're trying to allocation. Look at the title of your, your paper. Allocation means how much of that payment goes to the bank and how much of it goes towards a loan. Allocation means to separate stuff and designate it for, for certain things. This goes to the bank, that goes to the loan. 833 goes to the bank, 330 goes to the loan. So the new principal now, in other words, what, what's, what's owed now to the bank? Well, $1,000 was originally owed. This was the original principal. And this much went to the principal in the first month, so what's left over the principal? I'll take 1,000 minus 330, 35. So this was borrowed, 1,000, and $330.35 went towards that, that loan to pay it off. So 330, 35. I subtracted it. So 669.65 is the new principal. 669.65 is what is now owed. This person doesn't owe as much anymore. No, no, no. I subtract the original amount and then subtract 330, right? Because this is what's, what, what is owed is $1,000. This is what went towards paying that off, the 330, 35. That's the principal, amount for principal. Now, when it says amount for principal, keep in mind, maybe some, some of you, amount for principal, amount for, it's saying amount of the payment. Amount of the payment for principal is this. Amount of the payment for interest is this. That's what allocation is all about. Let's continue. Second month, same amount is paid. 338, 68. Let's figure out how much the bank's going to keep again now. But now look what I'm going to do. Same formula. Right. Same formula, but the principal is no longer a grand. The person doesn't owe a grand anymore. The person owes 669.65. Let's see. Let's see. 669.65 times, I'm talking please, thank you, equals, I'll divide that puppy by 12 and round to the pennies, $5.58 goes to the bank. The bank keeps this of the payment. So that second payment, 338.68, $5.58 goes to the bank. The, left, the rest of the payment goes towards the principal. Let's see, 338.68 minus 5.58. Exactly, subtract it. Gracias. 5.58. And 10 cents. That 331.10 10 cents goes toward what was owed. Remember what was owed was this. Keep in mind, what was owed was this. Right. So 669.65 minus what was, went towards the principal would be left over. Let's see. Here we go. Gracias. 669.65 minus 331.10. Sure, sure. Go ahead. You got it. Last payment, 
what does this person owe the bank now? When, when we get in the third month, what does the person owe the bank? Right, the, the person owes this much. So I'm going to put it right here. 338.55 has to go towards the principal to pay it off. This way it makes it zero. So whatever this person pays for the third payment, I know that 338.55 has to go to the principal because I got oh, that person wants to make it zero. Now, how much will go towards interest? The bank still wants some money in that last payment. So the principal is 338.55. Watch. Look at I'm going back to my interest formula. 338.55. Let's see how much the bank is going to keep of the last payment. So one more time. So the monthly payment for the second month is 338.68. Well, no, it'll be the, that plus the interest will be the payment for the third month. You see, we still got to find the interest right here. That's what I'm about to find. In other words, the bank still wants some more cash than the last payment. So look at 338.55. That's principal times rate times the time. Here we go. Good question. That's a very good question, uh, Magania. 338.55. How much does a bank keep on the last payment? Let's see. Divide that by 12. $2.82 the bank keeps. So that means that last payment has to be the 282 plus the 338.55. Gracias. Look at the, that last payment is going to be a few dollars more than he did the first two payments to get it to zero. I think for those of you who are struggling with this, you got to get in your mind, like, like beat it into your head, that this column is for what, what does a bank keep for every payment, and what is, what is going off for paying off the loan is on this one. you got to separate the two. The bank has to make their money for lending you the money. That's what interest is all about. Yeah, not talking. Thank you, though. Any other questions? Yeah, but don't cuss though, thanks. Any other questions? All right, the last example you're going to do on your own. Okay? And you're going to post it to Seesaw. And that's it for today. Hang tight. So yours is only three months. So I'm gonna, let me erase all this garbage. Are you going to need your calculator? Yes, because you've got to figure out the monthly payment. Right, Magania? So the first mission for you is to figure out the P. Yikes. Figure out your P, your R, and your end. We only did one example because you have the rest of your time now to do this one on your own. I'll be walking around to help. I'll answer all questions, any questions. I'll be here to help to prepare you to ace tomorrow's quiz. Yes. It's my, it's my Valentine's gift. I love, it shows you how much I love you guys.